Shalom, y'all, and welcome back to the Bible Minecraft. Today, we are doing something very exciting. We are going on a brand new adventure, and we're not doing it alone. This time, we're bringing an old friend with us, Paul the Apostle. That's right, today we are going on our first ever missionary journey as part of our mission to save the world. Now, if you know your Bible, you know it's divided into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And most of the New Testament is letters to churches written by Paul the Apostle. Not the dog, though, like the real Paul the Apostle. So Paul the Apostle journeyed all around and took the word of God to people and told them the good news about Jesus. So what we're going to do is find some villages and save the people by bringing them the word of God, by bringing them Bibles. Now, as you may have noticed, I did make a few changes while I wasn't recording. I tried to replace a lot of the torches that are in the ark with these lanterns because... Well, it seems like maybe having an open flame in a giant wooden boat is maybe not a great idea. And then I only did one more thing different. Come on, Paul, let's go check it out. Outside the Ark, I planted this little sugarcane farm because as we recently discovered, sugarcane makes paper somehow, and we need paper to make books. Okay, so you guys ready to see something satisfying? Watch this. Oh! Now, that was satisfying. <laughs> so now we should have more than enough sugar cane to make enough paper for all the books that we need. Going up. Wait, can Paul ride in the water elevator? Paul? Are you here? Paul? Paul, are you down there? Okay, well, Paul is somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so we'll take all of our sugar cane and make pepper. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of paper. Yeah, we'll do like that. Bing, bang. All right, so now that we have like a million paper, we'll get the leather that we got from those piggy piggies in the nether. These do not count as animals. These things are mean. Leather from the nether, leather from the nether and make some books. That's a lot of books. Okay, since we have our books, now let's get some wood and make some book shelves. Book shelf. Um, how many do we need? I think we have one, so we need 14 of these, I think. Boom. Finally have my 15 bookshelves needed to make better enchantments. So let's place those around. What's the big brain way to put bookshelves? One, two, three, four. Uh, I just want to make another one. See, this is where you get in trouble in Minecraft when things don't look right. So you do extra work that you don't need to do just so everything looks good. Ugh. Three, and now another bookshelf! <laughs> How many bookshelves am I going to make? This isn't even part of the journey. There was another one in my inventory. Oh, my age. And boom. Oh, look at that. So much knowledge. So much big brain power. Paul, uh, oh, get out of here. All right, so now that I'm 10,000 IQ with my ultra mega bookshelf set up, let's see what kind of better enchantments I can get on my stuff. I had to make a new diamond sword because something may have happened to the last one. I don't want to talk about it. But that's okay because we have lots more lapis lazuli blue pizza for much better enchantments. Let's see what we get now with all of these bookshelves. Sweeping edge. Why do I want a sweeping edge? I want a sword, not a broom. Well, I guess knockback is the best one, so let's go with that and see what happens. Whoa! 
Smite 4, Knockback 2, Unbreaking 3, Sweeping Edge 3. This sword sounds incredible. So I know you can also enchant books to keep enchantments for later. So let's see what we get with this. Looting 3, say, okay. Let's go with that. Enchanted book, woo. -hoo. All right, so now that we're done with enchanting, it's time for the second bit of preparation. This one is long overdue. I said I would do it a while ago, but now it is finally time to give Paul his name tag. Here he is. Good boy, he came when he heard his name. Oh, good boy. Okay, so what do I do with this? Oh yeah, you need to like make an anvil and stuff. Paul deserves a name tag. Paul deserves the best of everything and nothing less. So let's get that going for him. First, we need to make an anvil question mark. Okay. Don't know how to make an anvil. What do I need? Three blocks of iron. All right. Let's make an anvil. Bing, bong. Nice. And we shall put our anvil here. Why not? Name it Paul. <laughs> yes, where is he? Paul, come here. Paul? Paul? Paul! <sighs> Where's Paul when you need it? Oh, he's sitting up here. Good boy. Paul the Apostle, I officially bestow upon thee thy name. Now he's ready for his missionary journey. Let's get everything we need for our next adventure. Helmet, chest plate, leggies, boots. Oops, almost forgot to enchant the armor before we go. That could have been bad. Aqua affinity, respiration. So I can breathe underwater? Well, I can't imagine a scenario where I would need to breathe underwater. That's just ridiculous. You know what? Who needs enchantments? I'm going to save all that for when I can upgrade my armor to diamond, and then I'll use the enchantments. Besides, what's the worst that could happen out there anyway? All right, we now have everything we need for our first ever missionary journey. We've got all of our tools, our weapons, a leash for Paul, a stack of food, and of course, Bibles for anyone that we meet so that we can be true missionaries of the gospel. You ready for this, Paul? Yes! He nodded, yay! <laughs> Paul, get in the boat. Get in the boat, Paul. Paul, get in the boat. Paul, we got to go. Come here, Paul, come here. Come here, Paul. Come here. Paul, boat. Paul, get in the boat. Paul, get in the boat. Yes! Good boy. And we are off on our first ever adventure to explore what exactly is out there in this big, wide world. So the first stop is actually something that I noticed when I was building the Ark. Hello, dolphin friend. Which is these strange underwater little temples. So, Paul, you stay here. I'm going to hop out and check out what's underwater here. Ah, thank you, Mr. Dolphin. All right, so let's see what's in this first temple. <gasps> A chest! Buried treasure, are you kidding me? What? Gold nuggets, wheat, coal, and even a buried treasure map? This is awesome. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm fine. <sighs> Maybe I should have put that enchantment on my helmet. <laughs> well, I can't imagine the scenario where I would need to breathe underwater. That's just ridiculous. 10,000 IQ. Okay, on to the next temple. Is there any buried treasure in this temple, or...? Seems like... maybe not. <gasps> there was! Oh, I legit didn't think that that was going to happen. <laughs> this is amazing! <gasps> Another buried treasure! Two buried treasure maps, and look at all this wheat. Look at all this wheat. That's probably the best thing in the chest. Oh, I'm just, ooh, ooh, ah. Okay, okay, okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, I get distracted so easily. Paul, you will never guess what we found. Buried treasure maps. This journey 
is going to be epic. All right, let's see what else is out there in this big old crazy world of ours. There's already something in the distance. Man, this is so much fun. Wait a minute, those aren't trees. Ooh, what is this? Is this, oh look, wooden crosses. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect for a missionary journey, Paul. All right, well, let me hop out and explore it. Oh, this is like a sunken ship. Man, whoever was driving this boat should not be allowed to drive boats. Let's try to dig it up and see if there's any more treasure inside. A lot of digging later. All right, so while we were digging up the sunken ship, it became nighttime and all these monsters came out. So we're gonna hide up here on this cross, which is a perfect opportunity for us to talk about our Bible verses for today. So obviously we're on our first missionary journey. And what that means is we're traveling around to tell people about Jesus. And the idea of missionary journeys actually comes from Jesus giving a command called the Great Commission. So before Jesus went up to heaven to take his rightful place on the throne, he told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all of the commands I've given you, and be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the very end. So the two greatest commands that Jesus gave us as his disciples are to love God and love each other. And so that's the goal, to go around and show everyone how great it is to know God and to follow him. Wait, is that zombie wearing a jack-o'-lantern on his head? That's adorable and terrible, but adorable, but terrible. All right, sorry, Mr. Pumpkinhead. You've gored to go. Boom, nailed it. I guess you could say we really squashed him. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'm sorry. I'll call it with the puns. I apologize. All right, well, this is going to take forever to dig up this sunken ship, so we'll do that another time. For now, Paul, sorry for leaving you in the boat. Let's try to go and find a village. Don't worry, I'll go back for the treasure. You think I would ever leave treasure behind? Uh, no. Paul and Pastor Sam going on a missionary journey, going to find some villages and teach them about the Lord. Is that? <gasps> you guys, I think I see a village. I definitely didn't build those houses. That's definitely a village. Paul, we did it. Look, they even have a little dock built and everything. All right, Paul, this is it. We've arrived at our first village. Now, we don't know if these people are friendly or not, so we're gonna have to be careful. Time to make like Peter and get out of the boat. I understood that reference. Hello? Hello? Excuse me? Knock, knock, knock. Hello? Knock, knock, knock. Sir? Just a, just a friendly missionary and his dog. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. All right, honestly, I'm coming in. Hello? Oh. There's nobody here. Okay, maybe upstairs? Knock, knock, knock. Hello? I don't think anybody's here, Paul. Oh, oh a chest. Um. Ooh, emeralds. Hmm. I don't know if we should steal people's things or not. It doesn't seem like something a missionary would do, does it, Paul? Yeah, we better not. Let's add that to the rules. No stealing. No eating, no meeting, no cheating, and no stealing. Of course. <laughs> Some missionary that would be. Telling them about Jesus and then stealing their stuff. Yikes. Look, a person! <gasps> sir? Excuse me, sir. Is he... Does he have an eye patch on? Are you a pirate? Huh. Sir, I've come to bring the good news about Jesus. Do you... Oh. Huh? He's a weaponsmith. Huh? So you have jobs, I see. Okay. So if I give you coal, huh? you give me emerald? Huh? Okay. I'll take it. Bing, bong, bing. I'll take an emerald. Sure. Okay. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. 
Okay, Paul. Let's go see if there's anyone else in the village. I see some campfires. Oh, there's a guy. A book for you. Hello. Knock, knock, knock. Hello. Oh, kids. Um, oh, he shut the door right in my face. Well, anyway, here's a couple books for you. Boom. Bibles for everybody. Here's a book for you. I have free Bibles. Free Bibles for you. Oh. So you don't have to hide in the pumpkins. <laughs> here's a Bible for you. Bible. Here you are. Bible for you. Bible for you. Come back. Come back. Sir, I will get you with this Bible. Sir. 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 Bible for you. This guy doesn't seem to have a job. Excuse me, sir. How would you like to come with us on our missionary journey? That's a yes. Awesome. We have our first disciples that are going to come with us. So not only did we bring the good news to these people, but now they're going to join us on our missionary journey and on this adventure to save the world. All right, sir. It's time for you to jump in the boat. Okay, Peter, are you ready to go for a boat ride? Don't worry, nothing bad ever happened to Peter when he was on a boat. Wait. Peter, I can't wait to show you the ark that we've built. We have animals, we have a water elevator. I know, yes, I built it myself, thank you very much. Hey, I'm going as fast as it'll go, okay? Nobody likes a backseat driver, Peter. All right, Peter. Welcome to Noah's Ark, your new home. Oops. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is is Peter walking on water? This is so very biblical. Come here. Yes, come here, come here, come here, come get in the boat. 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 Come 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 in the boat. Yes. Okay, so welcome to Noah's Ark. We have cows and chickens and a spider, I guess. Yes, I am planning on getting more animals. Thank you very much. Maybe I haven't had time. Do you ever think about that, Peter? All right, so what do you think? This is where you're going to be staying. It's surrounded by a fire and it's made out of wood, so very cozy. Okay, y'all, that's going to do it for this episode. We started our first missionary journey and even made our first disciple. So, wait, where's Paul? Paul? I thought he was going to teleport here with his dog powers. Paul? Paul? Paul!